Hey guys, um, today I just wanted to touch upon a topic which I've been thinking about doing for a while now and that's uh, Nintendo Wii U, the console, and um, basically about how it, the system is doing uh, not so well and I really think it's got the potential to do better and I just wanted to put out a few ideas of why I think um, it's not doing so well and what I think could be improved to make it more more of a console that people want rather than a console which has games that people want to play but they don't want to pay for the console because they don't think it's worth uh, buying. Um, uh, let me just firstly say I don't actually currently own a Nintendo Wii U at the moment. Um, however, there are a lot of games on there that I would like to play and a lot of upcoming games that I, I would definitely like to play such as Mario Kart 8, um, Super Smash Brothers. Um, so there's some games coming up that I know that I would love to play and um, there are also games like the Zelda ones that are released um, The Wonderful 101 is a game which I really really like the look of and my type of uh, game to, so I'd really like to play that game to be honest uh, Pikmin as well I'd really like to play that so th there's a bunch of good games there it's definitely got the potential to do better than what it is doing and uh, I'm just going to go over some of the reasons why I think so. Um, firstly, let me just uh, start off by um, saying I think they need to... My first point is I think they need to listen to fans a bit more and be a bit more open and communicate a bit better with fans. Um, when you look at the PlayStation 4 and the f uh, Xbox One and the 360 and the PS3, those have... They'll, not so much the two newer consoles, but the 360 and the PS3, they've got tons of games coming coming out all the time. So when there's, the, you know, you're never really getting bored. You're never really waiting for something. Um, whereas the, the Wii U is pretty much just not really got much third party stuff coming out for it. It's pretty much just a Nintendo games machine really there's on you're really only looking forward to the nintendo games and there can be a bit of a gap in between each big um release so i think one way of just um making fans feel a bit better about that is communicate with the, the fans a bit more let let them know what you're working on you don't have to give them all your secrets i understand you want to keep back some surprises but i don't think you can actually afford to do that when you're relying on just these games to sell the 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 console i think you need to t say to the fans okay look it's not going to be ready for a couple of years now but um we are working on a new metroid game we do have a new hd zelda game of, um and what you could also do is people who own a wii u make it more of a nintendo i always feel is this company that should be about you know really socializing with its customers and really really doing a lot about what kind of sony's doing at the moment um i think they've got the potential to do some really great interactive stuff with uh, the people who are Nintendo fans. For example, just off the top of my head, for ex if they were going to be making like a new Zelda game, um, why not put out a few of the early um, designs for enemies onto the Wii U on the the eShop or something, and allow people who have got uh, a Wii U or a 3DS to go on and vote about which. Um, enemies which characters they think look the best and what they would like to be in the next game so that way when this new zelda game comes out all the fans can say look we we we, we helped um in a way we voted for for these characters be, to be in this game this this is our game and uh, nintendo's really listening to us giving us what we want so i think that's something that could really help just make people feel a lot better about the system uh next is um, when you look at PlayStation, my next point is when you look at PlayStation Plus, not so much um, uh, Microsoft, but when you look at PlayStation Plus, you get these great free games every month with your subscription. Now, I wouldn't mind if I had a Wii U paying an extra four or five pound a month if I knew that Nintendo was going to be giving me these, these free games and not just crap little old NES games, you know, that they could do like very easily. I mean, why not give out games, uh, you know, like a free game every month if you're subscribed to this uh, thing. It's going to bring in more money for the, the console. Um, and I wouldn't mind having that kind of online subscription fee to play online on Nintendo games if, for example, they were going to give us something back every month. So I think that's something they could really look at and um, definitely uh, 
make better. Um, also, the kind of online service, I don't really like the, the eShop and the way everything's laid out. I think it has to be more streamlined and fluid. I think it has to just look more presentable. I think it's a bit of a a mess, to be honest, the way the way I see it anyway. Um, my next um, point is, is a two-parter. One is about the price of the console and the games, and one is about the controller issue. So... Let's touch on um, the console price first. I really think when you're offering a console, which is pretty much a fr- a, 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 a three sixty or a PS three with um, less than one percent of the games available f- for the for the console that those two other consoles have, and it's like a previous gen console being released in a current gen situation with new consoles coming out. I really think you have to be serious about the pricing and lower your price and lower your expectations of the price. I also think um, what would really help is, for example, if PlayStation 3 games and 360 games are £40 and then Xbox One and PS4 are £50, why not have your your, um, Wii U games all at around about £35, just at £5 less than a PlayStation 3 or 360 game? That would really help encourage people to say, okay, well, look, They've got these great games, not as many of them, but I can get them for a little bit cheaper than I can get games on the PlayStation 3, so it might be worth picking up for that. Also, the the second point is the controller. I really don't think the gamepad is necessary. It adds a lot of price to the overall production of the the system and everything, and if you, if you just release the Wii U with a standard game controller, you know, like, um, you know, just like a 360 or PS3 type controller... And then you gave people the option to buy the gamepad separately and you incorporated a way for games to use like a menu system on screen like any other normal system rather than having to use the gamepad to look at a map down on your gamepad or something just to bring it up on the screen instead. Then you could sell the console for a much cheaper price with a controller and then if people wanted to pay the extra money for a gamepad they could then go and do that. I think that's something definitely to look into because you could lower the price and really have a much more attractive um, machine there for people who don't really want to pay the same price as a console with like a 360 that will have so many more games available to it. Um, next is something which I think is pretty obvious and I really don't know why they don't do it. Um, let me just have a look at my little notes here. Uh, the Nintendo ID and uh, Crossplay, uh, yeah, yeah. So, my next point is about the Nintendo ID. I don't know why you have to have a different um, thing on every system. Why it's not just all like a like Microsoft or Sony, just one gamer tag Nintendo ID across every system. That would really be very helpful. And um, to implement some sort of crossplay, uh, cross download kind of save functionality with uh, the 3DS and the Wii U, for example, if you go and uh, pick up a game on the 3DS uh, or, or or the Wii U. If you buy a game on the Wii U, you get the 3DS version for free as a download or something with every game. That would be really cool. And to be able to pick it up on, on the 3DS and then save it and then pick it up when you get home on, on the Wii U on your big screen, that would be a really co- kind of cool thing. And to just get rid of that kind of friend code type rubbish that they're doing, just make it so much simpler. Just have a... Fr- I, I understand that there are mainly... A, a children friendly company but you really have to think about what's best for business and I'm pretty sure that there's got to be some other way around it that you could have a Nintendo ID and just be able to add friends very easily than you know the way they do it right now um, next up is something which I think is also a very obvious thing a Nintendo gamer score or and uh, like a trophy achievement type system I don't know why they don't have like a Nintendo, a Nintendo uh, gamer score, and then they could do like Nintendo stars, for example. Like every game has so many stars, and one of the stars is like a shiny star or something, and everyone tries to collect the stars, much like the trophies of that. And you can have like a star counter with like like a gamer score, for example, and then you could also use that in some way to implement it with the Nintendo catalog. And for example, if I had one hundred stars. Um, for every 100 stars you collect on a games, it transfers 100 stars to your 
Nintendo account online and you can use those stars in the Nintendo catalogue. I think that's a really, really great f- idea which could be done very well. Obviously, I'm just giving out like a quick idea of it. They could think of it and you know make it much better the way they would want it to work but that just that kind of idea would be really really fun and really rewarding to people who are going out and spending the money on on nintendo games and they would really feel like nintendo are giving them something back um by giving them stars because for example if you made every game have something like um like 20 stars or something and then you had to buy like a few games just to get 100 stars and and one shiny star would add up to like 1000 like it would be like the platinum trophy or something and that shiny star could be like worth a thousand stars for your Nintendo catalog. That would be like really, really. That would be that would have a lot of incentive to play Nintendo games, quite a lot. Not just pick them up, complete it, and stick it away. You'd want to go back and play them a lot and um, try and get those stars. I definitely think that's something to look into. And uh, finally, the 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 big thing which I think. Um, I really don't think Mario, as big as it is, or Zelda, as big as it is, is a system seller. I think it definitely is for people who are nostalgic about Nintendo and really big Nintendo fans. But I think the ultimate system seller for the Nintendo Wii U is to make some sort of MMO RPG um, online Pokemon game where you can go online with your friends, travel around this massive open world, collect Pokemon together with friends, um, battle each other, go and battle other people in PvP areas, um, explore this massive world, and they can keep adding to it um, with tons of, like... um, I don't like the free-to-play system, but they can add it, like, where you can can buy, like, different packs of... um, stuff you know they'll think of something cool but i really really think that some sort of pokemon mmo type game for the system is going to be an ultimate system seller and if they actually did that i would pick up a nintendo wii u tomorrow if they guaranteed me that and also there's one other game which i just want to point out which i I didn't talk about it at the start when I was mentioning games I'm interested in. There's also a game called X. That's like a code name, I think, just now. I don't think that'll be the final name. But there's a game called X. So if any of you guys have not never heard of that, type in Nintendo Wii U X uh, trailer or gameplay, and it looks unbelievable. They need more like that. If they can produce more games like that, um, then I definitely think they're going to appeal to a much wider audience, and they... They could be more successful with this system because I really don't think it's a bad system. I just think it's an outdated system, and if you're going to release an outdated system uh, with a little kind of gamepad gimmick, you need to be smart about it, and you need to give fans what they want and make fans feel like buying something like that is going to be very rewarding to them. So that's just my thoughts on the Nintendo Wii U, and if anybody else has any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Uh, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and to help my channel and uh, any other topics you want me to cover just let me know and I'll try and do that because I'm kind of enjoying doing these videos where I chat a little bit about stuff because it's, it's a lot easier for me I don't need to go and record stuff and do it uh, and they upload a lot quicker so that's why I'm kind of enjoying them so anyway thanks for listening guys and I'll see you at the next video